What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this new album from Buddy called Harlan and Alondra. Buddy is a rapper-singer hybrid coming out of Compton who's been at it for a couple of years now, and you might actually remember back in 2011 when he dropped a banger produced by the Neptunes called Awesome Awesome. Other than that, I'm not too familiar with his music, although I do know he's had some tapes and EPs floating around, but this right here is my first time really jumping into a full project of his, and I can honestly say that I've been sleeping. This shit right here is one of the best releases I've heard all year, definitely one of the best surprises, and I like that as a rapper-singer combo, he actually can sing. A lot of guys who bring singing into their bars actually don't have much in the way of vocals, range, layers, and harmonies, but that is not the case with Buddy, because I think his voice is actually quite nice to listen to. You'll notice this on the song Hey Up There, which features one of the strongest Ty Dolla features that we've heard in a while, and this track also has a very dreamy, mainstream feel to it. Just the type of track you can put on in the car for those hot summer days as you you ride around. Another track that's going to hit you with those summertime vibes is Trouble on Central. This one has a bit of a G-Funk feel to it because of that funky bass line, and it also does have some pretty cool content on it. What we have here is Buddy just singing about being out in Compton, where there's still a lot of negative shit going on, and he's just trying to stay out of trouble. So, I really like this track. That and Hey Up There are easily two of my favorites because of that summertime vibe, and I feel the same way about the song The Blue. This right here is just a surefire summer anthem. What you get here is Snoop Dogg contributing a pretty nice verse, so really the features on this project are pretty nice. And this one has a funky sound to it that reminds me of something Cameo would have dropped in the 80s. It is a love jam as he's singing about this girl who came into his life out of the blue. And I really like how you get those pitched up vocals and talk box on this track as well. It really does help add to that West Coast feel. And since he is from Compton, he's representing. So all these tracks I've talked about so far have a lot of bounce to them, and that's why I enjoy them. Now since I did mention the blue being a love jam, we also got to talk about Speechless, although this one is more of a raunchier love jam as he's going in about pulling hair, stroking, got the girl sucking, and all that type of shit. Sonically, it's a very light funk track where he shows off some more of those great vocals, and there's even a sax solo on the outro that would make Val Venus proud. Really some dope production throughout this project, and this is one of my favorite beats because it has a kind of smooth, jazzy R&B sound to it. Now, moving on, I gotta talk about the song Young. Again, this has some of the album's best vocals, as well as some nice bars about what it's like to be young, back when you didn't have responsibilities. So I would say, as far as content, that's a track that stuck out. But then you get Real Life Shit, Find Me Too, and Shine. All of these tracks get very introspective as Buddy raps and sings about what it was like to come up from Compton to being a star. Just all the various hassles he had, and in particular, I love the fizzy bass and catchy hook on Real Life Shit. I thought that was a great way to open up the album and really introduce you to the sound that Buddy can bring. As for Find Me Too, you are getting a bit of an experimental sound because of the stuttering snares on it, and he also addresses that situation with Star Trek, where he was one of the last artists signed before the label went away or whatever it was that happened. I couldn't find too much information on that, but I did find it interesting because I kind of pretty much forgot about Star Trek. You might not even remember that label. Now another track that brings a lot of content is Black featuring ASAP Ferg, and this is just one of those black empowerment bangers. I actually felt like the hook on this reminded me of CB4's song, I'm black y'all, I'm black y'all, I'm blickety blickety black black y'all, said I'm black and I'm back, I'm back and I'm black, or something like that. I didn't get the lyrics exact, but if you don't know that movie, it is a hip hop comedy classic, so check it out, and if you know the song, you know exactly what I'm getting at. So you are getting some deep bass on here, and I actually thought the ASAP Ferg verse on here was fire, man. He absolutely snapped. He brought a lot of content about lynching, police brutality, and slavery, just tying everything into this black empowerment idea. And also he had a funny line on here where he brings up how his grandfather was part Irish, so he's got to get on Ancestry.com to see just how black he really is. A little bit of humor to go along with some of that more potent content, so... Really dope-ass track, and a really dope-ass album, so at the end of the day, I am going to go with a 4 out of 5. As I said, it's one of the year's best surprises. I think he's a very competent rapper. He has great vocals on here as well. And if you had to twist my arm to pick a least favorite track, I would go with Trippin'. Not even a bad track. I still think it works as a Night Rider, and it's kind of a banger with some big bass on it. But I felt like it was a bit more fillerish than the other tracks. Can't hate on it too much, though, because it did have a Rufio reference, and Rufio is my guy, man. I remember he got stabbed back in the day in the movie Hook. That shit was sad as hell, but he was doing his damn thing. Everybody was pounding the table, yelling for Rufio, chanting for the guy, and it is what it is, man. You gotta have a Rufio reference once in a while. Can't really be mad at that. But there you go, man. Great project. Check it out for yourself. It's definitely the type of thing you want if you want some summertime, sunny day vibes for when you're driving around. 
Really like how it has some mainstream appeal, but also a bit of grit to it. He does bring some content and some decent songwriting. Very fun project all around, and I like the shit. Definitely going to see it on my top 20. So there you go. That's what I think. Hit me up on all my social media sites to show me love and show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.